Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you multiple methods of creating a solid body from the given surface body. Here in this case, um, I have a surface body that I've created with some laughs and some uh, trim commands. I've also left a sketch for my uh, actual solid body out here at a certain distance. Now the idea is to see how we can use this surface body and create multiple solids, uh, uh, create solid body based on this using multiple different methods. So the first easiest method uh, to uh, to create this it would be if I created my boss extrude. So we're gonna just go to the features tab, create a boss extrude, and I can select my um, sketch and uh, instead of uh, for direction instead of blind, I can say hey give me a up to surface and I can select this surface. So this way SolidWorks will create me a body that uh, starts from here and goes up to that surface and has that irregular um, non-uniform up um, surface on top. So if I hit the green check you notice it gives you uh, this result. The, the display that you're seeing is basically when a surface body and a solid body sort of sits on each other yeah, we get something like this. So that would be our easiest, you know, up to extrude up to surface and uh, kind of creating this body. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at a different um, uh, different method of doing that. So instead of doing a boss extrude up to surface, what I can do is uh, I can edit that feature and uh, go blind up till uh, four inches. So like you know, just go past uh, that sketch. And if I hit the green check, now I've got a blind. Um, depth of about four inches over here. Um, what I can do is I can start a sketch on this face. This is a flat face for us. So I'll start a new sketch on this face, select the outside um, edge of this guitar body and uh, give it a convert entities. That convert entities will put the sketch for me on that top face and I can use this top face for uh, cutting up to that surface. So let's see how this goes. I am just going to go to my features tab, extruded cut and uh, and for my directions I can select up to surface and select the surface that I want to cut up to and hit the green check and you've noticed we have the same desired results perfect so that was uh, the second method uh, where we uh, where we were able to uh, uh, make this cut uh, make this cut happen uh, from two different uh, make a boss happen from one direction and the cut happen from the other direction Okay, let's uh, suppress this uh, cut feature that we just created and I want to show you another tool that we can use to kind of make this cut and this is called uh, Cut with Surface. This is a surfacing tool. So I'll go to my Surface tab and uh, one of the features over there is a Cut with Surface. If you select Cut with Surface, it's going to ask you, hey, what surface you want to uh, use? So I'll select my only surface remaining um, there and I'm going to make sure that the direction of the cut is of course towards that four inches box boss that we created so if I hit the green check again I get the same desired results for uh, uh, for this cut with surface as well so a couple of uh, you know different uh, methods uh, to to um, get to the same uh, same model again there's one more step uh, one more method we can uh, sort of uh, take a couple more methods we can take a look at to uh, create this type of uh, uh, model Let's say if I suppress my surface cut, I also have another tool that I use called Replace Face, where I can select the Replace Face and I can say, hey, replace this face with this face. So I'm doing the two different faces over here in two different box selection. If I hit the green check, I get the same desired result. So Replace Face does the exact same thing as the surface cut and the other two methods as well. Perfect. So these are some quick methods of uh, creating, uh, you know, uh, uh, modifying our solids from a surface body. Um, let's look at uh, another long method that we use usually with our surfacing tools. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, suppress this particular uh, replace face that we created, and I'll also hide my sketch that I'm seeing on the other side. So now working with just this model, does the first boss extrude that we created with, of about four inches. Um, the first step that I want to create is uh, to delete this face since we don't want this face anymore. I'm going to go to the surfacing tool and I'm going to select my delete face, select that face and instead of delete and patch, delete and fill, I'm just going to say delete. I just want that face removed and as soon as I uh, hit the green check to that you notice how that solid body has become a surface body now and now I have a couple of different surfaces to sort of work with. 
Uh, with these surfaces shown, now I can use my uh, trim tool. I can use my trim tool, do a mutual trim between these two surfaces, and then I can say, ask uh, SOLIDWORKS to keep certain uh, surfaces for me. So I'll keep these selections. I want this particular um, uh, body of the guitar and, uh, and then this particular uh, um, section as well. So these two sections we're going to keep and rest everything can uh, be removed. Over here, if uh, this um, we are able to create a if we are able to create a solid using this trim surface, uh, you can check that box and hit the green check, and you notice the desired results we get is uh, the same. So now, using the trim tool, we were able to remove one of the faces, and then use a, um, a delete face tool. We were able to remove one of the faces, then using the trim tool, we were able to remove everything that's extra and be able to create a solid. Uh, from that particular surface. So multiple different methods we covered uh, in this particular video. We covered the surface cut uh, method, we covered the replace face, uh, we covered the surfacing method which is uh, going a little lengthier where, uh, where we're deleting a few faces and trimming off the extra stuff. We were able to do this with uh, an extrusion up to the surface or doing a cut uh, up to that surface as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.